wanted to do a video on the word study concordance. So the word study concordance is kind of like the interlinear Bible. It has the um, it has just the numbers above the words, just like that. You can see the numbers like or actually they're below the words in my other in my interlinear Bible the numbers are above the words so this one actually has the numbers below the words so you could say it's kind of like the Hebrew Greek keyword study Bible in a sense except for it actually has numbers connected to all the words not just some of the numbers like the um, Hebrew Greek keyword study Bible has so this is actually a two volume set and as I showed you, this first one has the New Testament with the numbers on it. It is called the Words, Word Study New Testament there. See, like that, and then on the, on the side. And it actually has these particular numbering systems right here. I'll show you that real quick, and then I'll read them to you. It is keyed to the Word Study Concordance, Ard Gingrich, Greek lexicon, Moulton and Geddon, Greek concordance, and Kittles, Theological Dictionary of the New Testament. Now I've actually, I have those, that set of books right here. It's like this right here. There's, I believe it's 10 volumes. If you go to my um, library on YouTube, I have done, a, I'm doing some series on the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament. But okay, so man, this is a really good little um, resource to have in your library because what you can actually do is you can look up the Greek word. So I've done some videos on Ecclesia. Ecclesia is what they translated from the Greek into our English word church and um, that's a bad translation. So um, if I look up Ecclesia right here it will actually show me everywhere in the New Testament in order where Ecclesia appears. Now this doesn't contain the works of the Septuagint, so this is just the based off of the New Testament Greek, because the Old Testament originally was Hebrew, so um, this right here, Ecclesia, and every place it's mentioned in the Bible, in order. And it, it's, it's neat to have that, because um, it's just it's it's convenient to have in your library. Another way you could do that is you could go to um, blueletterbible.org and you could type in church and it's going to show you in the same manner everywhere where the word church is mentioned. But um, sometimes you might have different words translated to that same word. So if you type in the English word in blueletterbible.org, you would have to click on the particular word you're looking for and click on the Strong's number and then it's going to break it down and show you everywhere where that particular word is mentioned like this book will. Now this will um, have each Greek word but if you're looking for the word in English the word in the English isn't always the the same Greek word so for example love you have phileo and you have agape. So if you look under phileo in this book, you're only going to find where phileo is mentioned. So if you're looking for the words that had been translated to the English word love, you would have to actually go into like blueletterbible.org or go to your Strong's Concordance. So if I wanted to find every English word love, I could look up love in my Strong's Concordance and then you can find out from here what all Greek words have been translated to the word love. So, um, I just wanted to do that video on the word study concordance and tell you a little information about it and why it's interesting. So, I hope that helps. See y'all later, guys. Bye.